excited to present to you your Britain's finest new coming acting talents, Mr. Jeremy Irving. How you doing? I think my my first question would really be, how did how did you enter the world of acting? I was about 15 and I went and worked backstage at a theatre in London at Phantom of the Opera um, in the West End and I was kind of making tea for people and uh, I don't know, I just kind of found a load of people that I thought were really cool and a really kind of nice, nice group of people and then I kind of thought well, I don't know, I tried a bit at a school and I had a really great drama teacher while I was at school and um, and then you know when you start doing a bit of acting like I'd always kind of been interested in like the arts and things and then this was like a new kind of exciting art form I guess yeah. and yeah and so I decided that I wanted to go to drama school rather than go to university. It's hard work but it's, it's really good fun and uh, and then yeah and then I came out and suddenly found myself very unemployed and not doing anything for about a year and a half and um, I don't know I saw a lot of I saw a lot of my sort of um, I guess I saw a lot of other actors in my position kind of sitting at home waiting for the phone to ring and not really doing much and I'd kind of even when I was at school and I decided that I wanted to do acting I thought well why don't I try and make my own work why don't yeah. I try and make my own films me and my friend made a load of little short films we put into yeah. a show reel and I went round a load of agents telling them that it was real film work which was uh, a little bit cheeky but um, <laughs> and uh, one of them at least pretended to believe me so um <laughs> And then I got an agent, and then in the end, Steven Spielberg ended up seeing the, the little short films that I'd made, and that's, I think, kind of maybe part of the reason why I got Warhorse. So, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Fantastic. What is something embarrassing or unexpected that happened to you on set? The thing is, is th that's my job is kind of to embarrass myself in front of a lot of people. Like, that's kind of what acting is. Acting is, a lot of the time, feels very stupid and very silly. Like, you're playing make believe for a job. So, I think. That's kind of, you have to get over that, I guess. So you have a lot of falling over and see things. I mean, there's, it's amazing when you're told that you have to just walk from one spot to another spot, stop on that spot and say a line. It's amazing how difficult just walking becomes <laughs> and how many things there are that you can trip over and knock off and bits of like scenery that you can sort of throw over yeah. and things. And uh, yeah, I don't know, there's been, uh, there's been a few. And then also, you know, any sort of, Things can get a bit silly, you know, if you haven't do scenes with girls and things, then it can get very silly very quickly and <laughs> embarrassing and, you know, you, you can imagine. <laughs> yeah. How many accents can you do and can you try and do some now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Um, how many accents can I do? I can do, um, right, I can do West Country. I'm, do, I'm not doing this. I can do that. No, I can do West Country like that. See, I can do that from there. Um, I've just done a film in New York, so I can do that. I'm about to go and do a film in... I'm going in two days' time to go and do a film in North Carolina, which is a very odd accent. And like, can't kind of talk like this. You see, like, you're from down south in uh, America and stuff like that. Um, I just did a movie called The Railway Man with Colin Firth and Nicole Kidman. And that was until about two weeks before we started shooting, we were meant to be doing Scottish. And so we all worked incredibly hard doing our Scottish accents. And then two weeks before, they kind of went, nah, actually, use your own voices. And then from then on, I was kind of doing this weird. <laughs> Half Scottish, half kind of my own voice. I'm from kind of Glasgow. Thing. Yeah, so we're like not doing it. No, 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 <laughs> absolutely not. No. <laughs> Brilliant. Do you ever get embarrassed, like how you sound in films? Because I know, including myself, I get worried about how I sound. I can't watch myself. Um, no. I think, you know, it's 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 just painful and. Uh, <laughs> Also because you know what you were trying to do and yeah. it'll never be what you were trying. Like, cause yeah. what you think you're doing inside is never what it looks like, I think. And um, I don't know, I, I, hearing ever? myself is, is not as bad as, yeah. as, um, as watching myself, I don't think. But um, yeah, like, you know, like watching that, all I'm seeing is someone like talking like this and doing a stupid run for a start. <laughs> That's what I was and uh, my, yeah, I mean, the amount of, my brothers just completely, yeah, ripped me for that run. <laughs> And, uh, and I don't yeah. think it's that bad a run. You don't? No, I don't think right, so. Right, okay. When we were playing the clip, I remember you saying... There's a oh, worse one. There's terrible. a worse one where I run up the street <laughs> and I've literally got legs coming out at 90 degrees. <laughs> and it just looks, it's not even running, it's kind of flapping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know. Maybe that answers your question, I don't know. <laughs> We've got to give a massive hand oh, to Jeremy. <laughs>